Hello, my name is Stacy from Northland Communications. Today we are going to give you a brief tutorial of your Accession Desktop client. Please refer to the user guide for more detailed information. Let's start with the toolbar at the top. The File tab gives you options for changing your Accession password, muting the default notification sounds, adding contacts, creating a group chat, disabling your chat, for example, when you're on a video call, or logging out or quitting the application. The Meetings tab allows you to schedule, create, and join meetings, as well as view upcoming or recorded meetings. The Tools tab is where you find the Options menu. The Options menu gives you the ability to change your general settings, as well as settings for calls, meetings, chat, audio, and video. Also under the tools, you will find Call Park, Groups if you are a member of a group, the applications you subscribe to, and you can view the account which takes you to the Com Portal web. The help menu allows you to check for updates to make sure you're on the latest release, as well as there is a useful help guide that walks you through many things about the application. The avatar next to your name can be changed simply by clicking on it and choosing to change the avatar. Your presence appears next to your name. Your presence also appears to other people in your business group. The drop down next to your name lets you change your presence and status for availability. If you're on a call and you want to go on Do Not Disturb, you can go down to Available and choose Do Not Disturb. You can also allow calls from your priority list when you are on Do Not Disturb. That would be set up through your COM portal. The pen and paper allow you to add a new contact, create a group chat, or create or schedule a meeting from there. The dial pad box allows you to enter a telephone number or search for contacts. Enter a name to place a call or chat to a contact. The voicemail button will dial into the voicemail system. It will light red when you have new voicemail. To set up your voicemail for the first time, follow the voice prompts or use your Com Portal user guide to set it up through the Com Portal application. You can also have your voicemails go to your email by setting it up in Com Portal. The Favorites tab is where you can add favorite contacts for faster access. The Contacts tab has all the users in your business group, as well as users that you add or import. If they are in your business group, you will see their presence. If you hover over a name, you can either send that person a chat or you can call them. If there's an arrow next to the telephone, you can click the drop down and see their additional phone numbers. The Recents tab will show you all of your recent calls and chats. When you receive a phone call, you have the ability to answer it or reject it. And when you reject it, you can also do so by sending a message if they're part of your business group. When you are connected to a call, you will see the following command keys. The meeting command will allow you to generate an instant meeting. The hold key will place the active call on hold. When the call is on hold, the hold key will light red. To retrieve the call, press the hold key again. The video key will toggle your video on or off. 
The microphone key controls the volume of your speaker. It also mutes and unmutes your speaker. The headset key controls the volume on your headset. It also mutes and unmutes your headset. The dial pad will display the active dial pad. The pull key will pull the call back to a different device, for example, your cell phone or desk phone. The record key records the active call. Press it once to begin the recording and it will light red. Press it again to end the recording. The park key displays the available park spaces to park the call or put it on a system hold. Please reference your user guide for more information on call park. The transfer key appears to the right of the head. Press it to transfer the call enter the extension number or search for someone in your contacts. On the left of the head is the conference key. Press it once to add additional people to the call. To end the call, press the end call key.